the Joe Rogan experience. What are other sci-fi favorites of yours? Alien. Alien, yeah. Uh, that's why I was really excited when I heard that you were at least potentially at one point in time thinking about doing an alien. Yeah, it would have been cool. What happened? It's just, you know, just studio politics and the... Um, I do I do think that the way that Chappie was received probably p- played a role in me not working on Alien. Uh, but, you know, it's it's Ridley's world that he created and it's like... It, it should be his to do what he wants with. So it, it it's it's all good. Yeah, I get that. But still would have been fun. Yeah, I w- it would have been fun for me as well. I mean, the the thing that I, I would have really enjoyed about it was Sigourney Weaver was really down for what I'd written. And she that the main thing to me was, even though I like Alien 3 and I love Fincher as a director, I just wanted a version of of the continuation of what happened after Aliens. And for Newt to be alive and for, you know, for Ripley to continue that story. Um, and it's, it was sort of based on that idea. Is the so. kid who played Newt, how old is she now? Um, I, I mean, in my story, she, w- she was in her uh, kind of mid-20s. Um, I mean, in reality, I mean, Alien just, Aliens just turned 35. So she must be, you know, like 44 or something. Isn't that wild? Yeah. It's wild when you find out that the movie, the original, was from the 70s. 79, yeah. Yeah, you're like, what? Yeah. It seems so much more current yeah. than a 1970s I mean, movie. that's one of the things that's amazing about it is is how timeless it is. Yeah. You know, and, and also just, I mean, a lot of, it, I saw it in a theater a couple of years ago, and I couldn't believe just the quality of, of everything. Yeah. You know, it's really amazing how well it was filmed. I accidentally watched the Blu-ray version of Aliens, and it's kind of hilarious, because in the Blu-ray version, things that were not meant to be HD are now HD. So w- there's a scene where the spaceships are lined up and there's clearly a mural of spaceships in the background. It looks so fucking fake. Oh, you mean a matte painting? Yeah. Is it when they're in the Sulaco, when they're in the when they're in the the military ship, the big one? Yes. Yeah, right. I think. I think I know what you mean. It looks so corny. I'm like, "No." Because <laughs> <laughs> there's, you know, there's like this physical ship yeah. and then behind it is just some bullshit. It's yeah. like it's so clear that they used, you know, they expected like focus and, you know, the kind of graininess of film to right. ma- mask that. Yeah, matte paintings pre-computer graphics were done on panes of glass. And so, um, I mean, to, in a way, Aliens is like an, it, using the technology that they had at the time is actually like totally incredible. But I know, I do know what you're saying, though. I mean, for, for audiences now weaned on the stuff that we're that we have access to, you know, these techniques are so dated. But it would be a large pane of glass, like a shower piece of, of glass, and then they would paint what they want the set to look like ah. and shoot through it um, with your other real uh, environments as well. That's why the shots are always locked off, right? They're always stable. Mm-hmm. You, obviously, you can't move. You right. Know? So, yeah. Aliens was interesting by itself if Alien didn't exist. The problem with aliens is these creatures are so bumbling and easy to kill. Like in the first movie, yeah. that thing was so clever. Pure terror. Yeah, yeah. pure terror. So clever yeah. and and so good at sneaking up on people. I mean, I think the thing that Cameron did with the second film was pretty amazing, though, in the way that he was he made it he made it militaristic. It, yeah. it, cha- it changed the the context, and so I think because of that, and also there was the kind of Vietnam War high technology, low technology sort of parable at play. Yes. Um, so it was two forces, you know, in, in which case it makes the aliens be more, there's there's an abundance of them. Right. Um, but I, I, I almost like both films equally, I think. Both, both approaches. Watch the entire episode for free only on Spotify.